Developing tonight, new details show why this man, a former Westminster school bus driver, is accused of trying to lure underage kids online. The good news, the school says kids along his route were never in any danger. Denver 7's Liz Gillardi is live. And Liz, how do investigators know those kids were not at risk? Well, they say they know because this former school bus driver was posting ads online trying to find children using the website Craigslist. And tonight we're learning how he was caught. Driving school buses by day while making plans to have sex with a 14 year old boy. Police say Philip Ogren thought he was talking to the teen. Instead, it was a federal agent. It was disgusting to begin with. Um, Unfortunately, not that shocking. In this court document, Ogren talks about showering together and performing sex acts on the boy, going into graphic detail. These texts show he clearly knew what he was doing, saying, Yes, I do like young men. The agent replied, Is 14 like the youngest? How old are you? The Tennyson Center for Children sees it all too often. The kids they work with have been neglected, sometimes sexually abused. When a kid has the, the ability to have a cell phone and have access to the Internet with no restrictions, no controls by parents, they're at risk. Every single kid is at risk. The agent with Homeland Security is part of Operation Predator. They will uh, identify uh, an individual that is interested in, in uh, various um, aspects of child exploitation. A spokesperson for Westminster Public Schools told us there's no indication any of their children have been harmed or victimized. It's hard to put somebody like that in a situation where they've got that kind of opportunity. And experts say this should really serve as a reminder to parents to monitor their kids' internet usage. There are certain controls you can put on the web browser and go through their phone and their messages. Reporting live, Liz Gillardi, Denver 7. Thanks, Liz.